Chris, I don't understand why you have not done selenite yet. I mean, of all the crystals that you have, you've got it all over your house. You have a ball of it. I even have a pointer. You even keep it in your car. I mean, it's like everywhere. Why have you not you done a selenite crystal video? I'm waiting. TikTok. Look. All right, guys. You heard it from the boss herself. Tammy wants us to talk about selenite today. If you don't know who I am, my name is Christina. I am the K in TK Mo. I am also a Reiki practitioner, yoga instructor, and meditation teacher. So this happens to be one of my favorite stones. If you haven't figured it out yet, I have it everywhere. I have it in my car. I keep it because some of these drivers, I live in Florida, some of these drivers really make you need that little bit of serenity. But <clears throat> I keep it all over my house and it is just such a bolt of energy and light and love. The word selenite comes from the Greek selene, which means moon. Selene is also the name of the goddess of the moon. And it's also named Satin Spar, Maria Glass, and Desert Rose. If you haven't gone into my video for Desert Rose, please do so. That is also another beautiful example of selenite and the gorgeous sandy glass that this is. Now, if you look, this is right over my door frames. Selenite is a cleanser of energy and it brings um, the moon's energy into your field. So I literally have it over every single door frame and window sill. And if you look at this one, you see all that gray stuff? Well, sometimes selenite, when it has absorbed too much energy, it starts to get cloudy. Sometimes it's just dirty. But um, if that happens, you just have to let it rest. Clean it very gently. Selenite melts in water. It actually starts to disintegrate. So clean it very, very carefully. Um, on the other side of that door, actually, we have a neighborhood full of interesting characters. So that's why the biggest piece is over that door frame. So here are some of my smaller pieces. And if you look, see the beautiful striations. Like I say in the Desert Rose video, selenite is created from sand that is in riverbeds and the water and the sand combine together with heat and they create these beautiful striations. And when the riverbeds dry up, there's your selenite. Reiki loves selenite too, which is why she is all up in this video today. Okay, so selenite, like every stone out there, it is associated with a particular chakra. For selenite, it's the crown chakra. It's the very, very top of your chakra field. It, it is your crown. And Selene, the moon goddess, her crown was a crescent moon. So by connecting with selenite, we are working with our crown chakra. We're working with that connection with the divine, with the universe, with God. And it can wash away the impurities that may be running through your mind, negative thoughts, uh, traumatic memories, mental blockages, and especially, little tip, if you have insomnia, stick a piece of selenite underneath your pillow works wonders for me. It allows you to grow calmer, find that tranquility, and when you become aware of selenite, when you have that beautiful, gentle energy, it slowly begins to melt away your worries as you transfer your thoughts from all the chaos into this gentle, soft stone. The moon, when it shines above us, provides this beautiful, pure white light that just pierces darkness. That's what selenite does in your energy field. 
it rejuvenates your spirit, it channels your energy, shifting you from all the distractions, because we all have those distractions. We can be having the most perfect day, absolutely gorgeous, and one little thing, the guy that cuts you off in traffic, the lady who cuts in line at the deli, whatever it is, it just, it shifts your whole mindset. Selenite works to rechannel your energy, energy, excuse me, back into the direction that you need. Also, if you notice, I do keep a piece of selenite in my car, and I do that for a specific reason. Part of my job is traveling on the road thousands and thousands of miles every single month for years. And I am exposed to a lot of traffic jams, detours, bad weather, and some not so nice people. So I keep my selenite in my car and it is constantly changing the energy that's in my car, but also it's being recharged by the sun, just like the moon is every single night without the sun sending its light and energy, the moon is blank. So selenite is your way of recharging, rechanneling, and bringing yourself back into focus. Sunlight overpowers this beautiful, soft, fragile stone. So we use it only to recharge, especially when it gets dirty and gray and just completely blocked up, like that piece over my side door. But when we redistribute that energy, that moonlight energy of selenite, guess what? It also clears all the other crystals around it. That is my favorite part of selenite. You can take the crystals that you use on a daily basis, the ones that gather up all the energy from just your day to day, the things that you leave on your desk, the ones you carry in your pocket or your bra, ladies, am I right? And you can set those stones on a piece of selenite, even just sitting on a, a dresser drawer. You can set those stones on a piece of selenite and it clears them for you. You don't need sage smoke. You don't need salt. You don't need water. You just need a piece of selenite. It reminds you to stay open, clear, and pure because our light, our energy, the beauty of our spirit can change the entire room every time we walk in. Don't you want to be that person that makes people smile as soon as you walk in, even before you said a word. That is the power of selenite, divine, beautiful, feminine energy, the moon, softness, pure light. Grab this stone when you are in periods of stress, discomfort, and pain, or Grab this stone to prevent letting your mind shift into those directions. You know, we are in unprecedented times as far as the world and a global pandemic craziness. All this stuff, we all need that little bit of extra light. Am I right, Reiki? <laughs> she is loving this selenite ball. She steals it every chance she gets. <sighs> Remember guys, you are blessed, you are loved, you are powerful, you are more than enough. Namaste.